the Charo's suspension um, and Ben being out, uh, I guess, with Ridge will come back in and maybe in Moby, but what, what kind of are your options there with Ethan's midfield, switching the formation, or what are kind of options if you don't? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, you saw what we did in the game, so that's an option to play Nagby, um, you know, next to Jack. Um, you know, we've done that before. It's not a big difference when you play like we played at the end of last year and, you know, six or seven games this year, uh, you know, with one holding mid and Nagby and Valeri. So, you know, it's not a huge difference um, uh, to go with two central players or go with three with Jack, uh, Nagby, and Valeri. Um, so those are options. Um, you know, Moby could be an option as well. Um, so those are kind of the options right now. Knowing obviously um, DC's been struggling, but uh, every game in MLS kind of can be crazy. Uh, how, how are you kind yeah. of looking and approaching this game? Yeah, we're going to approach it like every game. You know, we're going to go uh, on the road and, and look to get three points. And we've been in good position to do that. We just haven't gotten that breakthrough. Um, so, you know, obviously the bottom line is we haven't gotten a win. Um, but I know, because I, I know my team, and I know the performances, and I remember the performances that we've been very close to getting that win and probably should have gotten that win by now. Been a bit unlucky. Um, but we've played really well overall. Uh, obviously, recently, we've, we've kept things tight. We've had trouble scoring. So, um, you know, I'm confident now that we've opened the floodgates a little bit. In the last two games, we scored five goals. I knew that would happen. I said that happened. If we kept getting chances, I knew we'd eventually have a breakout game, and uh, that was our wide, uh, widest margin of victory of the year. So that will give us a lot of confidence. Uh, we know we have to manage the travel, manage the heat. It's been hot there, mid-90s. Um, like we do every you know, scenario on the road, there's different things you got to manage. We know we need to keep it tight at the back um, because the home teams always want to attack. Uh, but I'm confident that we'll, we'll find uh, a goal or two. And I'm really confident in our defending right now as well. Um, so I think this is a game that we're going to expect to get three points. But we know it won't be easy because D.C. United, you know, is in a position where they, they're at home and they need three points really badly. Um, so it'll make for, you know, a really kind of uh, gritty game, gutsy game. And, um, you know, but we're going to go in with a lot of confidence. And we're going to go and be aggressive as well because non-conference game, you know, we have a couple of these coming up, which I like because, you know, you can go for the three points and not risk giving other teams three points in your conference. With the last 10 games, I, I think last year you guys ended up getting 17 points out of that, um, which is obviously a very good finish. Do you think you need something similar or, um, because the table's a little bit tighter, maybe not so much? I think we're just going to, you know, really – stick with a simple mindset the next game and three points and um, you know we know historically speaking kind of what it takes but that doesn't mean it'll take that much this year but but also we can't assume it won't either so the reality is it doesn't do any good to kind of wonder or worry or speculate or predict anything because all we can do is play our next game and we can't play the other games and we can't play um, you know the other teams uh, we can only play the next game ahead of us and I think that's always been a real advantage for our team is because we were wired the right way and we really focus on the next game, the next performance, and we don't get clouded uh, by anything else. You know, we don't get clouded by uh, what anybody else says or thinks or any of the other factors or any of the other games because um, if you get caught up in that, uh, you have things in your head that you don't need in your head to, to win the next game. And I always feel like if you just take care of your business you can control what you can control, um, you know, then you get results and then you don't have to worry about the other games. So you start worrying about other games, you start worrying about what people are saying, you start worrying about what people are thinking, you know, you're probably weak and you're probably not a strong team mentally and you're probably not wired the right way. Um, you kind of touched on some of the things you focus on going to see, but what does deep sea specifically present that kind of um, might be a challenge? You know, they, they're, I think I say it every single game. Um, you know, the teams that are down on the table, you look at them and you, you look at their talent, you look at, 
and you think, man, they seem like a better team than where they're at. Because I look at their team, I look at the players they have, um, you know, but they haven't gotten results to fall their way recently. And I think then the psychology plays in on that. And especially this time of year, that psychology weighs even heavier on everybody's head. Um, and so as a coach, I've tried to wire my guys and I try to model my leadership in a way where, you know, we don't play with that heavy um, pressure and tension that you might have at this stage of the season when you know points are at a premium. So um, I think most teams are pretty similar because of the way the league's set up. Honestly, in terms of talent, most teams are very similar, um, but usually the difference is uh, uh, confidence, psychology, momentum, character. Uh, when, the, when the pressure's high, the margin for error is slim. It comes down to how you wired, what's your team like, what's your belief like, what's your confidence like, what's your experience like. And it comes down to big players. You know, guys like Valeri coming up with that goal. Um, and that's what the game's going to come down to, you know, uh, this game and every game moving forward. And that's why I like my team's chances, because we got big players that step up. We got an experienced team. We got a really good mentality. We got a great locker room, and it seems like when the pressure's high, uh, our guys rise above it. And, and when I need more out of them, I usually get more this time of year. And when we need a result, we get a result. And I'm confident going on the road that we're going to get a result. Um, and then just really quickly, is ben, when does Ben go get here? Uh, Thursday, actually, mm -hmm. we're hoping. Uh, well, I don't know if he gets here Thursday. He's got a flight Thursday. So uh, we just got everything sorted. Um, Spencer. And Gavin have been doing a great job of processing all that paperwork, and uh, looks like we got everything kind of stamped today, and and uh, we'll get him on flight Thursday. Great. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care.